Hi, I'm Madison, and this is the AIA Showcase. Well, I was super lucky because my dad has been doing graphics f his whole life, so as long as I can remember, so I've had art in my life, all my life. And then when James Cameron's Avatar came out, I freaked out because it was beautiful. It was so detailed and it was so vibrant, and I was like, I know all of that's fake. How did they do it? I want to do that. So I researched schools in Georgia, and I found the visual effects major at uh, the Art Institute of Atlanta, which I think it was relatively new at the time, and I was super pumped because I read the description and it said eye candy, and I was like, that's the one for me. I'm gonna be a visual effects major. The first thing that I have to do, no matter what the project is, is I have to research whatever it is that I'm doing. So whether it's like graphics for somebody, or if I'm doing some sort of effect that was in a movie, I have to go look at it. I have to see if there are tutorials, and I have to get all of the, the tools that I need necessary for that project. I do as much as I can, as many different ways as I can, and I present it to whoever else I'm working with or who I'm working for, and I see what they like and whatever they want new, and I fix it, and I, I just try to please everyone. I think for a team project, the best place to start is getting to know your team members. So you have to talk to them, you have to learn their name is really very important if you want to create any sort of rapport with them. But then you have to delve into what skills do you have, what do you think that you're best at, and you talk to them and you figure out what they think that they're good at and what we agree that they're good at. So then you have to sort of divvy up the parts and divvy up the work. So we did um, a Star Wars little short film clip and I helped with the lightsaber effects and I sort of supervised everybody else that worked in it because we decided that I know a lot about it and it was really fun because it was really fun to shoot because I got to be on set with you guys and then I got to play with this new plug-in that I found and I, it was really fun because I got to hand manipulate the lightsabers themselves and I got to color them and um, make them look as realistic as possible and I thought that that was a really neat experience. I really enjoyed it. We did uh, an Invisible Man project, and <laughs> uh, we had to get a morph suit. The first time we did it was so funny because it was so uncomfortable for our actor because he was sort of essentially naked underneath the morph suit that he was wearing so that we could edit him out of the footage and make him look like he was invisible. And then we had to do it again with a different actor, and sort of the same thing happened and I just thought that it was hilarious and then he took it upon himself to run around the school in the morph suit once we were done so that was just amazing. I find it really safe not to have uh, long-term major goals because it's really easy to get disappointed and it's really easy to like lose track of where you are and it's really easy to get discouraged. So right now my only goal is to get my name in the credits of a movie that I'm really proud of and then like long-term like, fingers crossed, hopeful, is I want to get an Oscar one day for visual effects. I think that would be really neat. <laughs>